But let's go on to Derrick Rose because we are going to celebrate and honor him apparently on January 4th against the Knicks. I just want to bring up an argument. It's interesting to think about. What would life have been like for Chicago sports if we didn't draft Derrick Rose number one? Was it a mistake? Was it the biggest mistake that the Bulls franchise has ever made? So let's think about it. Who was getting drafted in that draft? Who could we have picked up instead of Derrick Rose? Because when we drafted him, there was a lot of issues that people didn't even bother to look at. First of all, the big controversies that came with him from college. One, that he never took his own tests. He had somebody else take tests for him because he really wasn't supposed to be at Memphis. He couldn't qualify because of his grades. And then on top of it, he had their titles, their record, removed from the history books because he wasn't even supposed to be at Memphis. So there's a history of cheating. And then let's talk about the controversy that he brought up on his own at that barbershop podcast in New York about him having a little altercation with some woman who he says that him and a bunch of other buddies were having fun with. And it was, it was nothing. It was just, oh, we're just going to choo-choo, and it's nothing. Like, hmm, kind of makes me question his morality, his moral compass. And on Twitter, when I question his moral compass, oh, my God, did I get so much hate for just pointing out, hey, Derek, you could have any woman that you probably want at this point. You seem like a really nice guy. You got everything going for you. Just pick one. Do you need to bust in the college dorm rooms and in- entangle yourself with six other dudes? Like, what are we doing here? What type of moral compass do you have? Are you really somebody that? Kids can look up to. So let's just start off with that. Now, if I look at the draft and I say, you know what? Derrick Rose is the obvious number one pick. But look at all the controversies that are coming with him. Maybe his mindset's not all there. Maybe he's got a little bit of growing up to do. Who do I look in the pool of players and see that they're available? Who is it that I could pick? How about Russell Westbrook? Now imagine Russell Westbrook coming to Chicago, having the pressure, the Jordan pressure of performing in Chicago with the team that they had, with the Jimmy Butlers, with the Joachim Noah, with Luol Dang, with Taj Gibson. Think about peak Russell Westbrook with that squad. I think we could have beaten LeBron. I think we could have advanced to the finals with that squad. Because look at what happened with OKC when it was just him and Durant. And they didn't have the type of they didn't have the type of squad that the Bulls had. Think about a a six foot four perfect in his prime, explosive, leading all-time leader in triple doubles on the Bulls. Does Jimmy Butler stay? Do the Bulls finally get past the Cavs, the Heat? I think they do. I think an argument can be made that they do. And so I have more to say about this, and you will have to read about it or see my short documentary called The Mistake. Did Derrick Rose ruin the Bulls franchise? 